Hey, what up guys? In this one, we're gonna test which hat cleaning methodology is best. I play a lot of golf, I sweat in a lot of my hats, and then once I sweat through them, I probably leave them to the side and don't wear them for a while because I'm too lazy to clean them. So I said enough is enough. I scoured the internet to see how people clean their hats, and we're gonna try them out. How this video is gonna go is that I'm gonna take you through the process of each individual methodology, and then we're gonna wait for everything to dry. And at the end of the video, we're gonna compare and show the results. If you wanna skip down to the results, I'll leave a timestamp below. We're gonna try hat cages that go into the washing machine and also the dishwasher. We're gonna try hat cleaning specific solutions. I bought the materials for the viral laundry stripping method. And of course, we're gonna try just good old dish soap and water. Let's go out there and see which one is best. First up is the hat cages. We're gonna put one in the washing machine and then we're gonna put two in the dishwasher. We're gonna put one on the top rack and the bottom rack. All right, here's the first cage. I only have a side loading washing machine. On the video on Amazon, it said you can use a side loading washing machine just in their graphic, but I don't know how legit that is. I just hope there's improvements around the Titleist logo for this one. I'm gonna just throw it in there. I have a sheet in there. So I'm gonna put it on delicate cycle with normal amount of laundry detergent. All right, I got these two loaded up here. I'm gonna put this one on the top rack and then this one on the bottom, see how it is. But as you can see, I have a smaller dishwasher. Not sure if it's gonna be effective as some of those nicer, bigger ones. And I'm gonna use borax instead because it also kind of washes your dishwasher. I saw someone use borax, so I was gonna give that a try. I'm gonna do a quarter cup of borax and spread it around the bottom. See how small this is? It's only one hat and it already takes the whole entire top. That here like so. And I'm just gonna do a normal cycle here. All right, so the wash is just finished. We're gonna take out the hat and see how it looks. Obviously this cage is meant for top loaders. It's not recommended probably for side loading washing machines. Back here, I was really worried about the stuff around the Titleist. Obviously it's not dried, so I'm gonna do a whole thing where everything's dry. It is pretty bulky, so I don't know if I can recommend doing this you know, with a bunch of hats, but if you need one hat that you need clean in a pinch, Throw it in with some extra delicates uh, and maybe this will be a good solution. All right, now the dishwasher has finished. Uh, I'm taking it out before the drying heat cycle so as to not shrink the caps. I read that can be a thing. So far looking at both of these, they do look pretty clean. Well, I'm gonna let them dry out for a bit and then we're gonna compare all of the hat cage methods. All right, coming up next is this hat specific cleaner. It's a foam that you put on your hat, pretty easy. I have a really tough candidate for it to try though. So let's see how it does. All right, the kit comes with this foam solution. It has a, I guess, odor eliminator as well, so we'll try that out. Comes with this little brush here, and then this microfiber towel. Yeah, this is a tough candidate for this. If it cleans this, then I might be sold on the convenience of it. Let's get into it. Okay. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna dip this in here and start brushing. Call me crazy, but this might actually work pretty well. All right, now I'm just going to pat it dry with this microfiber towel and see how it looks after it dries after some time. All right, it looks really nice. I'll do a video of it before it's dried, but it already looks so much better. For good measure, I'll throw on this deodorant spray as well. And now we wait. That actually kind of blew my mind. So I'm going to try another hat just to see, maybe it was the material that is like pretty easy to clean. This is more of a normal hat. You can see there are some spots here. Also notable here are these sweat stains on the underside of the bill. Same thing as last time, huh? Get the underside too. Patting it down dry now with the microfiber towel. All right, that looks good. We'll wait for it to dry. All right, now we're gonna use a laundry shipping method using borax. The Tide detergent and washing soda. This got really viral. People were putting all their hats into a container, mixing it up and then water would turn really gross. My sink water actually gets really hot. I never turn it all the way when uh, I wash dishes and stuff. So I feel like it serves this purpose pretty well. So I'm gonna fill up this side of the sink and then put the hats in. So basically for this, you have to do one part borax, one part washing soda, two parts laundry detergent. This might be kind of gross, but I'm just gonna use this other end of the spatula to mix everything up once everything is in there. Yeah, that is plenty hot. Quick editor's note here. I use way too much materials in the washing stripping method. I just pull the amounts quickly off the internet and that's more for like a bathtub rather than a sink that I use. So I use way less. Maybe start with tablespoons worth. Pretty much after the fact, I had to re-soak and rinse the hats again that I used in the laundry stripping method. They're heavily smelling of detergent. Back to the video. Quarter cup here of washing soda going in. Quarter cup here of borax. Oh, <laughs> gotta use this side. Quarter cup of borax. Then we have one, two scoops of Tide. All right, gonna mix this up. It smells really clean. And here go the hats. 
Ooh, yeah, it's almost too hot to use your hands. All right, so they say let that sit for two to three hours. I'm probably let it sit for two hours. Come back, check it out, and see how things are progressing. And actually, I'm gonna throw in one more bonus hat here, my Shaka hat from Link Soul. The logo is a little bit discolored. It's supposed to be white and it's brown, so I'm gonna throw that in there as well. Also, to weigh the hats down, I'm just gonna use this salad bowl and fill it up with water to push all the hats down to keep them in the solution. So about one hour in and the water is looking quite disgusting. I'm gonna get in there and agitate it some more. All right, I'm gonna take this out of here. But so far from what I see, it looks to be pretty effective. So yeah, I don't know. This might be a good way to mask clean hats. Also the logo for this one's not looking as brown. So it is working, I feel like. All right, so put the bowl back on top to weigh things down. Let's wait one more hour. All right, so while we're waiting for the laundry stripping method to complete, I wanted to introduce one last method of cleaning hats and that is just using a bowl and dish soap. So that's how I have been cleaning my hats previously. I have just been too lazy to do it. The water that I'm weighing down the hats in the laundry stripping method, I just put a little bit of dish soap and I'm gonna start cleaning here. So here we go. This really makes me wonder if this is gonna be as good as the hat cleaning solution. Um, yeah, maybe just dish soap and wa warm water is gonna be better, but we will see. Let me know how you clean your hats below in the comments. We're gonna get to the results shortly. All right, hat one done. I'm just gonna rinse it off. Time to do hat number two. All right, this one's all done. Just gonna rinse it off and hang it to dry. Yeah, one thing I wanted to point out how uh, dirty or clean this water is. So this is just, you know, scrubbing two hats with dishwater, but look at the laundry stripping method. It's, it's disturbing. <laughs> All right, it's been about two hours. The water's still warm, but I read that you pretty much do this process until the really hot water becomes room temperature or even colder, and then that's when it's done. Don't quote me on that, but I've just decided to do the arbitrary two hours. So I'm gonna start removing the hats and draining the water, and let's check it out. So what I wanna do is rinse out the hats in the laundry stripping method and then go hang them up to dry. But boy, look at this water. Oh! Look at this water. So there's some undissolved uh, detergent at the bottom still. Oh, I can't even get this out because it's slippery. There goes the water. Pretty gross. You can see there's extra residue from the borax and leftover detergents here. So maybe I definitely, I definitely used way too much. Ooh, okay. Well, water's gone. All right, so far looking at the hats, giving me a good rinse, um, but it looks like it's done a good job. I'm gonna use these cages to make sure these hold their shape. So I have all the hats that I cleaned here set up to dry. Uh, I wanna wait till they're fully dried to make my assessment. And once that's done, we can go through each individual methodology and see which one was the best. All right, so here are the results of the hat cleaning solution that I got. Very impressed actually, this is all dried out now. All the sweat stains, they're pretty much gone. I think a lot of it obviously is just the scrubbing. I've noticed that all the methodologies that use a little bit of scrubbing, a little bit of elbow grease turned out the best. That looks great. Smells, I used the deodorant spray. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference. Smells pretty good. Doesn't leave too much of a clean solution residue after the fact. I'd be pretty happy with this result. I was so intrigued by this result that I cleaned another hat. This is the other hat I cleaned. There's a lot of good removal of the stains here and the bill is great as well. This one had a really bad bill. So I was like, dang, you know what? I'm gonna try it again. It's all dried out, smells pretty good. And look at that. I'm not sure how it will be in the long run because you're not really washing away anything. But yeah, super fast, super easy. I have no complaints with the specific hat cleaning solution. Let's go over the laundry stripping method. If you have a lot of hats that you need to clean and bulk, this is a good way to do it. So far the results, and this was with minimal agitation. All I did was rinse the hats afterwards. These look pretty good. This hat was notably one of the worst. It didn't take too well in the water and didn't dry that great. I put it in the cage to dry and it's still a little, I'm not afraid, but you can still see it didn't dry all that great, but it looks really good. I would wear it again. This was very yellow. I'm using a white light, so it's not super fair, but yeah, this was very yellow shaka that I said that I wanted to add. And yeah, it's pretty much a little bit wider. So the coloring got better as well. This one looks good, not too much sweat on the brim. And then we're good to go underneath. Uh, this Link Soul one, like I said, I guess cleaning it in the, in the sink with hot water has the chance of losing its shape. Also, there's this All Our Welcome hat. There's just a little bit of stains up above here and those are all gone. But most impressive with the laundry stripping method was this guy. I did not do any extra elbow grease in this. I was just mixing up the hats in the water and all of the sweat that was up here that was pushed to the rim here, there was like visible lines all around this hat because I sweat entirely through it. It's gone. I would suggest doing the laundry stripping method 
if you have a lot of hats that you want to clean. But once you buy the supplies, it's hard to buy them in small quantities. So you're going to have to be doing a lot of, I can do hats for like decades now. I wanted to throw in the control. The control, how I usually clean my hats is with warm water and a little bit of dish soap. I just use Dawn. The results are also good as well. Word of caution though, if you have these hats with more clothy material, I did end up, you know, fraying some of it. Don't get something too abrasive. It kind of ripped out some of the threads here. It's hard to show, but Trust me. The brims on both of these look awesome. They were looking pretty hurt before. And uh, yeah, dish soap and warm water with a little bit of elbow grease goes a long way. Let's talk about the results of the hat cages themselves. The one that was in the top rack in the dishwasher turned out really good. This one was covered in sweat stains. I did not uh, put any extra scrubbing into these. This one is really good, as you can see. But the one that was on the bottom shelf that I put on the bottom did not get cleaned like at all. <laughs> I think it was because the suds or whatever were bubbling up. I'm not exactly sure how a dishwasher works. It did not get clean. This was the bottom rack hat, and I'm gonna clean this actually again with one of the methodologies that I found out from today. I still have to decide. But yeah, the bottom rack did not work. Top rack of the dishwasher worked flawlessly. Also to note, my dishwasher is not that great. It's not, it's like a compact dishwasher meant to go in small spaces, so it's not even top of the line. It's, I'm pretty sure if you have a really nice dishwasher, it'll you'll go much further than I did. But yeah, top rack is where it's at. And the final method was throwing the hat cage into the washing machine. This is a side load washing machine. It's not recommended even though there's a video of a side loader being used. Um, yeah, just it did not work that great. Maybe it's the hat itself. This is a Tylus hat though. But yeah, it didn't clean it up here. As you can see, there's still some issues. So I'll have to re-clean them. Um, but pretty much for the hat cage, top of the dishwasher is where you want to be. All right, so after it's all said and done, what's the best methodology? Well, as you can see, it depends. If you have a ton of hats and you don't want to worry about cleaning them all individually all that much, the laundry stripping method, it works. If you only have a few hats and you want them to get pretty clean, you can use the hat cleaning solution that was specific for cleaning hats. That ended up really working well. Or you can use good old warm water and Dawn dish soap. I would not suggest using the hat cages. The hat cages got so-so results. I'm sure that's probably gonna vary between person to person because everyone has different dishwashers and everyone has different washing machines, but that was just my experience. One thing to remember here is that the methodologies where you're actually submerging hats in the water, it's, I feel like it's extracting all the dirt and the oils, whereas opposed to the hat cleaning solution, you're just spraying it on and then just kind of spreading out and hoping, maybe like a Febreze effect, but for cleaning. So keep that in mind. I really feel like the laundry stripping method and the dish soap method was really good at cleaning it deep. Whereas like the hat cleaning solution was only, you know, visually it looks good, smells okay, but is it really extracting all of that grime? Not sure. So that was a very long winded answer. I have a lot of hats that needed to be cleaning, wanted to make this, but hope you guys enjoy that one. Keep chasing. See you in the next one.